Hey, what's up Linear users, I'm Jonathan. And in today's video I'll talk about my idea of visualizing a narration. I came in contact with this topic through a personal project for which I also created this paper-like scene that you probably also saw in last week's video. In the end, this is going to be a short film with an ongoing narration in the background. So, now I needed a way to create fitting visuals for the narration. My idea was to do it in a picture book style, meaning that the film is composed of basically still images. But because we have the possibility to animate anything in Blender, I wanted to make it a bit more interesting. So, what I settled on is a style which is basically exaggerated slow motion. This means that I animated the camera pretty slow and linear and either left the characters standing still in the scene or only animated a portion of their skeleton to do a very basic and of course slow movement. The one thing to look out for is that you want as much parallax as possible. This gives the scene more movement without an actual faster animation. A perfect example is this shot in which we have a pretty far distance between foreground, middle ground and background. This way we don't need to animate a walk cycle for the person because the scene in itself feels pretty fast. So when combined with the narration the viewer will know what is going on without an overload of information. As I said earlier I kept the animations linear. This linear interpolation style makes cutting between scenes much easier because you don't have these weird slowing down and speeding up moments that you would get with for example Bezier interpolation. The easiest way for me to do this was to preset the default interpolation to linear. This way I didn't have to manually change the interpolation mode from Bezier to linear. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about today. You might have noticed that my latest videos were all relatively short. This is because I'm working on some more things that take a longer time to complete. So in the future I'll upload much more in-depth and longer videos. But until then, we'll see each other in the next video next Saturday.